All right, guys, welcome back. Um, we're gonna get this uh, fuel pump, the lift pump relay. So I got it in this box, and wires are just kind of chilling for now. Um, so this is another. It's just like a horn relay. I just pulled out of this harness. It was on one of these. So I grabbed that, and I already had wires and pins on it. So I'm going to show you where I'm going to tap into that fuel pump. So the, the, the factory wiring already runs from the fuel pump up under here, through this right here, and up to, it goes up here, and eventually to this. So this is your factory Toyota um, fuel pump relay basically and see here the blue wire is a positive and this white with black is negative so I'm going to take this negative here probably just ground it here and that positive is going to run to that relay working on the <coughs> fuel pump relay I already got this wire run over to the solenoid here and that's the signal wire to tell the relay when to turn on and send power to the fuel pump so that with with doing it this way that only lets the fuel pump run when the engine's actually running if the engine stalls and the ignition's still on the fuel pump will turn off so that's the safest way to do it so I just got to run one of these to power the fuse for that is this red and green number one here so once I hook my battery up I just throw a fuse in there and we got power and then the other one just feeds the fuel pump which I'm going to tie into this wire here so that already runs all the way back to the fuel pump All right, guys. Back to this, uh, <clears throat> the power wire to the pump. Um, I'm actually gonna run some. I bought a roll of 12 gauge. I'm gonna run 12 gauge. Just run a new wire back to the pump. Um, Cause this, I think that's 18 gauge, and it's right on the limit for being enough for that pump. Um, so I'm gonna just play it safe. So I'm gonna get this thing run back in there, and instead of. <clears throat> Taking the whole harness apart, that harness runs here, underneath the truck, and then along the frame. Instead of pulling that harness all apart and uh, sticking it inside that harness, I'm just going to run it separate outside of that harness and just loom it and do it that way. It would be a lot easier. We'll get this thing run. I'm going to cut this off up in the bay and run this wire all the way from, basically from the, the relay back to the pump so that'll give me enough power and then I'll probably run a uh, seven and a half amp fuse and see if that'll do it I'm pretty sure it will cuz I for my reading it's that pump pulls four amps so seven and a half should be plenty all right so I got this line or this new uh, power wire running down here runs down through there down through that little stock grommet and then I just followed the the stock where the stock harness went and I had to drop the tank down a little bit too and good thing I actually decided to do this because when I took the harness apart you can see that ground is all melted up so I'm gonna re-ground it I think I'm just gonna grind all the paint off here and ground it to the frame right there so I'll get this connector cut off and solder solder this new wire on and then get a ground wire up on here and we get this tank back up in here. Alright guys, there it is. 
So grounded there, make sure you uh, clean that, any grounds you gotta clean the paint off the frame wherever you're grounding. And then, and that wire just runs up, follows there. All right guys, got the uh, last joint soldered in. So that's the wire that runs back to the pump though, that new one. So that wraps it up. Um, and I don't know if I actually showed you not that it's that important, but this ground here is grounded up behind this fuse box. It's just loose for now, but so yeah, you need the ground power from the battery, a signal wire to the pump, and then the wire back to the actual uh, lift pump. So not too complicated there. So yeah, I hope that helps you guys out.